As the world combats China's COVID-19 pandemic, the Chinese Communist Party is cracking down on political dissidents, those who believe in freedom, democracy, and free markets. In Hong Kong, the CCP is circumventing the autonomous legislature to establish new laws to silence Hong Kongers who are fighting for freedom. On the world stage, the CCP continues to block Taiwan's membership into the World Health Organization, while at the same time flushing the World Health Organization's pockets with cash. And what do they get in return? The unwavering support of the World Health Organization. In Western China, the CCP is eradicating Uyghurs and other minority ethnic groups, forcing them into detention camps and executing secret extraditions. But this week, the House took a meaningful step by passing the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act, which imposes financial sanctions for those responsible for human rights abuses against the Uyghurs. But more must be done, and we still have more to do. As Americans, it is our duty to stand with those seeking democracy in all corners of the globe. I'm very proud to join Republican leader Kevin McCarthy's China Task Force to counter Chinese aggression and stand with those who are seeking self-governance, free markets, and a democratic way of life. Now is the time for the United States and our allies to stand together. It's time for us and our allies to hold China accountable for their human rights abuses and their malfeasance against those who believe in freedom, democracy, and free markets.